Well, you know there's storms coming, don't you, big apotamus? You are. She's getting old and big. You're not afraid to go in because I put those things there, are you? Yeah, you're getting a lot white-faced. All right, guys. It's the night we're supposed to get the terrible storms. Subscribers sent me these little dams. And I guess when they get wet, they swell up and f like three inches tall. And they form a little dam. Go on in, Lily. You're not afraid to walk on them. Come on. You're afraid of everything. And I have not had time to get the concrete and fix this. So we're going to put them here to try to keep any water out of the building. You can go in there. Walter walked in and didn't kill him. You're going to love them things when the water doesn't come in. Okay? You've always been scared of everything. How do I get dogs that are scared of everything? Yeah. I know, but you'll be okay. We got to get you to the vet and get your nails cut. Because Daddy's scared to do that. Yeah, you're... I can't hold you. Eh, it's early and it's probably getting a little dark for this GoPro, but these things ain't supposed to hit till like 3 a.m. Man, I'm not gonna make it that long. There's no way. But I grew up in Oklahoma. What we do is we usually come out on a porch and we film things, but at 3 in the morning, you can't film that. You gonna go in there with brother? I'm going to put the radio on loud like I usually do. And that way, you don't hear what's going on out here. Okay? Go on in there with brother. Uh, all my dogs, they all got some sort of an issue. About half of them scared of their own shadow. That one's not. You're not scared of nothing, are you, Rooster? Alright. Hopefully tomorrow at this time, nothing has happened. What do you think, Rooster? You're getting pretty chubby yourself. You guys eat way too well. Well, 8 a.m. And all we got was about two minutes of rain. Five pieces of thunder. And I think like 12 chunks of lightning. That's it. We got one more small band coming through. But on the radar, it's like we just slip through in between them. So I'm going to head to the grocery store to get some food. Then we're going to work in that garden a little bit. And then tomorrow I'm going to pick up some concrete. And work on the dog apartment, the front of the building. Finish that up. I'm going to go take a look at some guttering today. But that's all we got, guys. We're good. Alright, this is the last of it coming through, but you can see it's, it's got rotation, and it just suddenly got cold. That's the cold front coming through. I don't know what this fool's doing over here. Grinding up, he's got one of them grinding machines. Better not grind my stuff down, block my wind, or take down my wind block. Yeah, see right there? See how that's rotating? pretty cool but there's not much of a chance of a tornado they're saying and that's it once this passes we're all done. right guys we got a lot of background noise going on we got squatty squatterson over there hunting rabbits and we got machiney machinerson over here with some kind of gadget and then we got barky barkerson over there hey i'm making a movie do you mind okay let me show you what what i'm doing i realized that i'm going to need almost all these pots for my tomatoes now i've got a 20 by 20 screen coming that's going to basically go from the corner of this dog apartment to somewhere right in there see so i need all these pots down yonder is what i need so I am going to, and they are all full of dirt. I did not make myself any easy job. Then I'm going to take the raised 
galvanized beds one two three put here for my herbs or herbs oh, whatever part of the world you're from that would look better and th that way I'd be able to cover my tomatoes but now I gets to move them and I'll come up with this invention <laughs> yeah yeah I know it I just simply slide them I'm gonna take this one all the way down you'll see hold on watch this this is pretty cool here we go all righty then I had to put you guys on the ladder because the tripod's in there if I so much as open that door they're going nuts so I'm gonna start dragging these out here on my invention You're like, what you gonna do now? Well, I think that's what I'm going with right there. I kind of moved them this way a little. That way I have a good wide aisle here and a wide aisle here. And then I can always go on the outside of those so I can get through them. To, you know, you got to do trimming and things like that. Uh, I don't need any more than that. I, have, I was going to get all these red ones over here. Nope. And the black ones? Nope. I think what I'll do is just leave them all where they're at. I already got that one, so I, gotta, I think I'll move it. Maybe to this end here, because I'm not moving none of those. I've got perennials in them. So I really don't want that row out there at all. I, I, I may change my mind. We'll have to see. And this could change 10 times before I'm finally decided on what I'm going to do. Eh, the matching color thing went out the window. I don't care. It's going to produce tomatoes. And these won't all be tomatoes, I'm sure. It'll be some peppers and peppers in here in the raised bed i should be able to get all three of those in here i hope i don't know i haven't even put one together yet i'm not going to do that today it's the weather man it got cool windy of course and you know i've still got all these probably most of these will just get marigolds or something i don't know they're not real deep they will grow some herbs it'd be good for that well we'll see there's my tripod 
<laughs> yeah, they're up now. I should go in there and get it. All right. You know what that is right there? That's a seat, and I'm gonna sit because I'm tired pulling and pushing. Yeah, I'm sitting. This is a good seat. I may not use it. My garden chair. And the nice thing about this gravel, well, you can see all these are unlevel, wavy. I can just go over and spin that pot, you know, twist that gravel any way I need to get these nice and level. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy on it. All right. I'm going to think of what I'm going to You know what I'm going to do next? I'm going to make some lunch because I'm hungry. That's what I'm going to do. Can a man take a nap without you guys gaping at me? You're always gaping at me. I worked hard in the garden. Let me take a nap. Trying to walk with these little buggers, you gotta do the scoot. Look at me. Cause they'll get right under your feet. Especially when you got supper. Come on, you little buggers, man, that's all you do is eat. Cost me about 14 bucks a day to feed you guys. Yep. Let's get it out here, because you're not, you uh, because you're not eating dry inside anymore. Because you guys are too messy. I'll give them the dry. Hey, I'm making a movie. You hush. They're eating their supper. They just eat monsters. And toast is gaining on them, man. She is... He's big, getting bigger. Who eats like that? Look at you, just throwing it out of your beaks. And we got them two monsters over there. The only time I can walk in here is when they're eating. What are you two doing? Always playing. And this is their little area that they have now. I've got that half of it blocked off. Uh, if it warms up, it's going to get even more of it blocked off. And they all sleep in there. I got rid of the styrofoam because they were chewing that up. You put these things down, they play with them. Yeah, but they do go on them. So, however they are, they all, it'll hold a turd. So I just came in here today, cleaned up. Take every day, got to take hot bleach water. You know, mop the best you can. Those are poop machines. Yeah, and they gotta scoop the poop out here. That's not too hard. The hard part is when they come out and you're trying to scoop poop and they're playing with the scoop. That's the hard part. Look at you go, Toast. Hello, my name is Wet Nasty Banana Man, and I'm Wet and Nasty. Hey man, what's up guys? Hey, what's up? <laughs> and just like that, there wasn't no more food in that bowl. Them dogs done ate it all. I bet it was good. Come here, Toast. Toast. Dirty nose. Toast says, heck with you, I'm eating. We'll get a close up of Toast here in a second. What are you doing, Toast? Yeah, you want me to pick you up? Okay.
Uh huh? Oh, you want me to pick you up, don't you? I think you're part Chihuahua or something. But you don't look, you don't have the build of the others. Yeah. You little Miss Squeaker. Where you going? Toast. You little buggers. You know how impossible it is to film, you guys. It's very impossible. Yes, because you're always jumping at me. Mm. Cameraman's worst nightmare. That beat. Guys, I gotta go in. So let's see if Toast will do this. Toast, can you shake? <laughs> just, just in case you don't believe me. Toast, shake, shake. Well, you gotta get in front of the camera. Come here, Toast. Sit, sit, shake. Yeah, you know how to shake. You're really smart. All right, I'm gonna try to get out of here. <laughs> 